Happy New Year! First video of 2017 and I spent my New Year's Eve going to bed early. I know, crazy. <laughs> I had a crazy night. Reading comments, a lot of you guys wanted to see some vlogs and story time so I thought I would combine it in this video because what baby wants, baby gets. Good morning. First thing I do when I wake up, check my phone. Yep, nothing. Sweet sound of the birds. So relaxing. First Even the crows have friends You like my shirt? My mom got it for me For free So, for breakfast Breakfast of Champions I'm so tired right now oh, I know that took a lot of effort to do all what I just did so I'm just gonna take another nap Dinner I mentioned in my last story time video regarding my voice that there is some blind date stalking going on and here is my online dating stories so when i was in college my friend worked at the computer lab it was a language lab and technically you're not supposed to be in there unless you're taking a language but since she's worked there and i had other friends who worked there we would sneak in during our breaks to watch youtube or be on the computer and my friend was on this site and i was asking what she was doing because i saw her a lot on there and she was on Yahoo Personals. I don't think they have that now. I could be wrong, it's been a while, but Yahoo Personals was like a dating profile and it was completely free. And she had an account just to look at the boys because she was boy crazy. But she was telling me how I should make a profile. I said, why? You're just stalking these guys. She was like, yeah, but I want to meet one eventually. So why don't you make an account and then we can both meet the guys on there. I don't know. Maybe I was bored. I'm not really that type of person, but I was like, well, fine. Okay. I was talking to a couple of different guys on Yahoo Personals. It ended up that I exchanged numbers with one guy that caught my eye and we were talking on the phone. Uh, he gave me his life story, that first conversation, and I was like, whoa, I don't even know this guy, but I know everything about him, basically. Just from the first conversation, I could tell immediately that he was falling for me, and again, I think it's my voice, because, I mean, just going by a couple pictures online and... My friend really wanted to meet up with the guy she was talking to, so we made a deal. If she met up with the guy she was talking to, I would meet up with the guy I'm talking to. So she set up a date with her guy and they went to the St. Bonaventure Hotel in downtown LA and I don't know if I told you guys this, but I have a thing with elevators. I love elevators, especially the hotel. The elevators are clear so you can see outside as you're going up and there's like four different elevators and it's a pretty famous elevator. Movies were shot there. My friends and I, we would just go to that hotel just to ride the elevators. <laughs> we would just go through each elevator and then leave. <laughs> But there's um, a nice little bar in the middle of the lobby so she made a date with her dude to meet there so since this is the first blind date and it's an online date we don't know this guy we made like this pack that if you go on a blind date um, we would be in that area just as a backup just for safety because we're girls we're in our early 20s we don't know this guy stranger danger <laughs> so we made it so that so she could feel safe 
and enjoy her date. And we're nosy, we wanted to see how the guy looked like. So the three of us are sitting at the bar waiting for him and we did not time it correctly because my friend and I were supposed to leave before the guy came in. But when we turned around, we could see him walking and the look on his face, it was like he thought he was on to catch a predator because instead of coming towards us, because he obviously saw my friend, he went around the bar and they were like, oh, sh we should have left you alone because it took him a while to come to the table. And he was a bit weirded out as he should be because he's supposed to meet my friend and he, there's two more people there. And my friend and I were just like, oh, we were just here. Uh, uh, coincidentally, so we will leave you two alone. And then we walked away. As she was having her date with her guy, I ended up making a phone call to the guy I was talking to because a deal is a deal. So by this time, the guy I was talking to, it was almost a week that we were talking and we were talking to each other every single day. So since we haven't met, we're talking to each other on the phone, feelings can develop faster. Uh, if, even if you haven't seen the person and you know, talking to someone on the phone and meeting someone in person and getting to know them in person are two different things. A couple of days later, I can't remember, but we made a date to meet up at the Cheesecake Factory. So the day that we were supposed to have a date, um, he was running late because he lives like 30, 40 minutes away from me and there's a lot of traffic. LA is always traffic. This was my first official date. So in that sense, I was nervous and I was nervous because I never met a guy online before so I'm waiting outside he's giving me updates he's really really late um, but two of my friends were with me so it wasn't too bad I didn't have to wait alone so two of my friends they uh, went in before me and got a table and I didn't know where they were sitting so finally the guy showed up because I was inside and he looked at me and I said hi and then we gave each other a hug it was super awkward, super awkward. I felt like instantly for me, I felt like I was meeting a friend. From the phone call prior on his way to when we met, completely different. And honestly, I think that he was disappointed in the way I looked. That is just what I think. Prior to moving to LA for school, I lost 40 pounds and so I felt good. I was like 100 and I don't know 30 something and I might be bigger than my petite friends but I felt good. I looked good. Just the way he was turned off immediately from hugging me is just that's what I think. I want to be wrong but just his attitude changing was <laughs> that's just it's just this it's just what I was sensing. So when we sat down super awkward so awkward because if you compare it to a couple minutes prior to be on the phone very very happy to now sing by each other and it's just like i don't think he was nervous i i i don't since he wasn't talking he was making it super awkward i was like scraping like things to talk about like so i said how was work and he was like it was okay I'm like, all right, um, so does your coworkers know you're going on a, on this blind date? He goes, no, I don't talk about that with them. I was like, okay, is this your first blind date? He's like, yeah. Super. Dinner comes out, we're eating, and I'm trying to find my friends. I can't find them anywhere. And Cheesecake Factory, the, the booths are like pretty high. And so I, it, the date was going so bad, I confess. I said, my friends are here on our date. And he was like, huh? I was like, oh, you know, they're here for like a support system, meeting guys online, not that you're a creep. But the date is going bad, I'm glad they're here. So I got up and I went to go look for them and they ended up being um, on the table behind. So I couldn't see them. They were just like, behind the booth. So when I went to them, they looked at me like, what are, you, what are you doing here? And I'm just like, please save me. 
So <laughs> they got up and went to our table. Our table is like a table for four. So they sat down and I grabbed my girlfriend and I said, let's go to the bathroom. We went to the bathroom and she's like, how's it going? I was like, I, uh, I don't know. I, uh, we're not talking. I think it's going bad. And uh, kind of took a little breather having to go back out there. So we went back to the table and my friends left. If it wasn't awkward in the beginning, it was more awkward. Um, we didn't really talk about much. So the bill finally came and I wanted to go Dutch. It was like, let me pay half. And he's like, no, 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 I, I, I got this, I got this. So I'm like, okay, well, if he's offering to pay for the whole meal, he might not be a jerk after all. I mean, he's somewhat of a gentleman in that sense. I don't know why I did this, but I said, well, then dessert is on me. I should have just ended it there because it was already bad. Why do we want to spend more time with each other? But I didn't like the feeling of owing something. Uh, again, this is my first date. Don't. Uh, so I was like, there's a yogurt place down the street. I'll buy you dessert. He's like, okay. So my friends and I, we, they are done with their meal. We all go to the yogurt place. On the way there, he goes, I need to go to the bathroom, which I thought was weird because he could have just use the bathroom at Cheesecake Factory. So I was like, okay, well, what kind of yogurt do you want? And he told me, and he's like, okay, well, I'll go get it. As we, as I went to get the yogurt, sat down, uh, he took forever to go to the bathroom. And I thought, oh, <laughs> it was so bad that he ran off. But eventually, like 10, 15 minutes later, he finally came back and he's like, oh, I couldn't find the bathroom. I was like, right. So we sat down, had a yogurt, not talking to each other. He's like right next to me, we're just eating yogurt. Super awkward. I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? Can't I just go home and change into my pajamas and eat ice cream out of the tub? Why am I eating this yogurt with him? I mean, he came back. I, I really thought he left the date. So after we ate yogurt, my friends kind of left us alone. And he was like, well, I had a nice time. And he hugged me. I said, I parked over there. He's like, well, I parked over here. Uh, a gentleman will walk you to your car, but I guess the state is so bad. He was like, okay, well, yeah, I parked over here. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. And then he said, well, I'll call you. Okay. Did he really just use this cliché line that he's going to call me? Guys still use that line? Why do you even need to say it if you don't mean it? So that was my first experience on the blind date. I didn't go on another online date after that. Uh, I think I talked to some guys, but none of them I felt like meeting up with them. So my other friend was talking to this guy she met online, and they were supposed to have a date in Pasadena at an Italian restaurant. And my friends and I had class. And so we were just like, oh my gosh, so our class needs to end so we can go. So we all met up um, in the front of the school so we could all carpool together um, to the date that they were having. And it was four of us. So the date was already like an hour in. We were worried that we were gonna miss it. So we went in and luckily they were still on their date. And we knew because we got seated directly across from them. So here are my friends and this is me looking at them. They're having their date and I am like looking straight at them. And I could see my friend like looking at me like what the fuck? <laughs> she was like mm, yeah uh-huh. Towards the end of the date she finally confessed to him that hey over there like uh, those are my friends and <laughs> he was he was like kind of weirded out by that I didn't think that she was gonna tell him but she did so their date went really well and their relationship lasted six years six seven six years longest relationship out of all of us that was my early 20s and I think a lot of that was around the same year as well two years ago or so my friend was talking to a guy online so i asked her if she was going to meet up with him and she said that she wasn't 
sure. And so I told her what I used to do, what my friends used to do with the online stalking. And she was like, well, if she does go on the blind date with him, um, she would want me and my, my cousin to uh, tag along. So they made a date to meet at City Walk and we got to tag along and it's city walk so they could do their thing and you know, my cousin and I can enjoy city walk. But mainly we wanted to go because the restaurant they were going to was um, Brazilian food, Brazilian restaurant. And I've never had that before, like meats and stuff. So we're next to her and we were waiting for him outside the movie theater and I don't know when he came by, but then we saw him and my cousin and I pretended to quickly turn around and try to pretend we're taking selfies together. <laughs> Smooth. So when they left, we tried to time it. Okay, uh, maybe leave to the restaurant a um, couple minutes after so we don't get seated next to each other. My cousin and I waited a while and then finally went to the restaurant. And then when we got seated, um, we sat down and my friend was right next to us. We got seated right next to my friend and her date. And the this, this tables are so close to each other. You could see the look on my friend's face going. <laughs> She's like, she, I could tell that she tried so hard not to laugh because I was laughing already as I was sitting down. And once the food came out, I did not pay attention to their date at all. My cousin and I, we were so into this Brazilian food, like meat after meat, like keep it coming. We were, it was so good. We we're just like eating and yes, yes, we want dessert as well. And we had such a great experience at the restaurant. It was good. So I think we got off first and left the restaurant and we waited outside and we were just waiting for her to like text us how the date is going and all of a sudden uh she calls us going um i'm in the parking garage i'm gonna come back up uh, to see you guys we're like okay so my friend didn't have such a great time on her date uh first of all she didn't get to eat any brazilian food and i said i didn't pay attention to you so i don't know what you ate but how can you not eat the meat? And she said, he ordered chicken, so I didn't want to be the only one ordering the Brazilian meat, so I ordered the same thing he did. I said, wait, 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 wait. He's, he ordered chicken at a Brazilian restaurant? He's the one who picked this restaurant. And he was like this fitness person. He's very health conscious. So why did he pick a Brazilian restaurant if you're not going to eat the Brazilian food? And she's like, I know, I don't know. She said that she saw us like grubbing on and she was so jealous because she wanted to like scoot over to join us at our table. And I said, you might as well. I mean, the food was really good. Like, why didn't you join us? And she's like, the chicken wasn't that good. I'm like, of course it wouldn't be good. So she said that all he could talk about on the date was health, health, fitness, uh, foods that he uh, eats. Um, the healthy foods that he eats, the training sessions he does, and she was kind of bored because my friend is a foodie. She loves food and she didn't get to enjoy it. I guess after the date, he walked her to the car and she pretended to leave. And then once that she saw that he left, she ran back upstairs to see us. And I said, oh my gosh, we, poor thing, we need to take you to a Brazilian restaurant to have that experience because I can't believe you didn't. So after that, they didn't have a second date. It's been a while since I've been on a date, like a long time. My friend said this to me a couple months ago. She said that I'm old fashioned. And I guess in this age, everything re revolves around online technology with tinder coffee meets bagel the online dating is how you meet people she meant that i'm old-fashioned in the sense that i like to meet people in real life first because a lot of my friends are they have um, online profiles they're on the apps and i'm not on it and i get hounded to join but I don't want to and I guess that is true. I like meeting people in real life. <laughs>
but I guess it would make sense that I would have to go outside to meet people. My friends are like, you need to go on these websites, you need to actively pursue guys and find a guy and I'm fine being single. I've been single <laughs> since I was born so I'm pretty, I'm, I'm a pro. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm older, my age is creeping up on me, my ovaries are like dying. Finding a guy in my life right now is not a top priority. So if happens, it happens. And in the meantime, in the meantime, <laughs> In the meantime, this is my life. This is my life. Maybe this is why I'm single.